So let's talk about the data path summary. If we are talking about an instruction, let it, let's say add instruction, okay? The entire add instruction must be executed in one clock cycle. So how does the designer calculate the duration of the clock cycle? Any idea? Like I just give you a specification that the instruction should be executed in one clock cycle. How would you define or identify the duration of the clock cycle then? <clears throat> you need to see that the how instruction is executed. It goes from the instruction memory to register file to ALU and some in cases data memory and then back to register file. So you need to calculate how much time these individual components are taking. And what is whatever the total time is, that would be the duration of the clock cycle. Okay? So designers actually want to uh, execute uh, each instruction in one clock cycle. Now, different instruction may have different clock period, uh, I mean different execution time, okay? But we cannot vary uh, the clock period um, once the processor is developed, okay? We will be talking about that later. But each data path element, example, register file in ALU can only do one function at a time. So if we talk about let's say register file. If we are reading the register content, we cannot write the register values at the same time, okay? Similarly, um, so as, as I mentioned, they cannot be used twice at the uh, same time. Similarly, if, we, uh, if you remember last time, in the last lecture I talked about, we want to keep the instruction memory and data memory separate. The reason why for, um, uh, for keeping it separate is because we cannot read the instruction and write the data during the same clock cycle. Because if we have the instruction, so for example, if we have, um, let's say, yeah. So if I have memory, let's say, and I'm, I'm dividing it, for example, this one is the instruction memory and this one is, this portion is for the data memory, then I have, because it's the same memory, then I will have the address port, one of the port is the address, is write data, and then read data. Now I can provide the address here for the instruction. It could be an address for the data. So I can only provide one address at a time. Okay, so that is why we can only access this component, this entire component only once at a given instant of time during one clock cycle. So that is why designer wanted to keep these two things separate, IM instruction memory separate and data memory separate so that they can access both the component uh, individually separately during the one clock cycle. Okay, so this is one of the reason why we have separate instruction and data memory. And we use multiplexer where alternate data sources are used for different instructions. We have already discussed this. So we need to talk about the component that generate the colored signals, the control signals you have already been looking at. 